guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I have something really special for you guys. Um, I'm going to be making a This Among Us character fishing lure. It's going to be interesting. So yeah, let's, let's get to it. Alright, I traced that template onto this piece of wood. Uh, now I'm going to go cut that out. So... Yeah. I got that clamped up in the vise. Um, now I am just going to cut that out. I just used this jigsaw that we have to cut it out. So, yeah. All right, there that is, all cut out. Uh, now I'm gonna sand down to those lines so that it's uh, a lot nicer looking. And I'm also gonna sand this side flat because that's just not nice looking. So, yeah, sanding. Just doing this sanding on my uh, disc sander slash belt sander. Got both of them here, so yeah. I got that sanded down to the lines. It's a lot more nice looking. Probably still gonna do some more fine sanding on this thing um, with some sandpaper pieces. Um, but yeah, that's what I got that sanded up nicely with some sandpaper. And um, now I'm just gonna be working on some more of the details like that this tank on the back of, of the character and the goggles and like just carving those down because they don't go all the way to the edge um so yeah that's what i'm doing Alright, so I got the basic shapes cut out on this thing. Um, now I'm just going to do some more refined work, <coughs> like um, rounding off uh, the goggles, because they're round, not square, and also rounding off the body, because this is square. I'm going to make it round, so yeah.
Alright, I got that goggle uh, rounded out. Now I'm going to round out the shape of this whole thing. So, yeah, I'm just drawing in some chamfer lines to give me the basic idea of how I'm going to round this thing out. There's the chamfer lines that I'm going to be carving out. Alright, I uh, got that rough shape carving for this thing. Now I'm going to be sanding that around. I got that all sanded and I like the way that it's looking. Um, I just remembered that I uh, want to make their two legs. So I'm just gonna like carve that out. So yeah. Okay, there it is with those legs. Um, this is looking pretty cool. Um, um, originally my plan was to uh, cut off the legs and add joints to them so that they would like flop around, kinda. And then it would be like in the water like this. And the legs would just like flap, but now I'm not really sure um, uh, what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do and um, I'll be back with you when I figure out what I'm gonna do. All right, so I made my decision on what this lure is gonna be like. Uh, I decided to make it a crankbait. Um, I already cut out the lips a lot. Um, so, it is kind of strange looking, but <coughs> I think it'll turn out good in the end. Um, now, what I'm going to do is drill the holes that are needed in this bait. So, like the line ties, hook hangers, um, and the weight hole. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. Alright, I got out all the markings of where I'm going to be drilling, so now I'm going to drill those. I'm going to be putting two treble hooks, one on each foot, and actually three, and then one on the backpack. So right, now yeah. I'm drilling out the weight holes, so yeah, or hole. <laughs>
there should be enough to hold this bait nice and flat. Um, so, yeah, now we're gonna fill this with lead and uh, put in the screw eyes for this thing. So, yeah, let's go do that. Alright, so I didn't get this on camera, but I melted that lead in there and um, I just used this uh, mini blowtorch to do that. Um, so, yeah, um, now I'm gonna fill in this hole um, with some five minute epoxy and I'll also glue in the line tie and hook hangers while I have the five minute epoxy done. So, All right, yeah. now I'm gonna be covering up that lead hole with some five minute epoxy and I'm also going to be gluing in these um, screw eyes. So, yeah. those line tie and hook hangers are in um, so now I'm just gonna let that five minute epoxy dry and I'll be back with you when that's done all right so um, that five minute epoxy dried and I sanded it down so that it's flush with the rest of the body I also made a lip and uh, glued that in um, so now it's on to painting um, I think I'm just gonna go with a basic like it's gonna be real simple like so yeah. All right, so I got that lip taped up uh, and now I'm gonna be uh, painting it with a base coat of white. Um, so. Alright, there's the lure with the base coat of white. Alright, so uh, my favorite Among Us color it, character is uh, red. So that's what I'm going to be painting this lure. Um, yeah. Alright, um, I finished painting this thing red, um, now my plan is to take some of this uh, foil tape and uh, use that to make the goggles on this thing, um, so yeah.
think that turned out well. That's I'm gonna put a clear coat on this thing and I'll get back with you once I'm done that. Alright, here's the finished lure. Um I really like the way that it turned out. I think it looks pretty cool with that tin foil goggles. Yeah. I like the way that turned out. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, comment down below what kind of lures you want to see me make next.